Hi there. Today we're embarking on a captivating journey as we step back in time to explore the legendary TV series, The Pretender. I'm sure many of you hold fond memories of this classic show. The Pretender is a timeless gem that has left an indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting the series with the entire cast, then and now. We'll uncover the original identities and ages of the talented actors from the show and witness how they've transformed in the year 2023. So without further ado, let's dive into the world of The Pretender together. Michael T. Weiss as Gerard. Gerard takes center stage in The Pretender, embodying the role of a pretender, described as a brilliant individual capable of assuming any identity, as stated by Miss Parker in the show's opening sequence. Despite this extraordinary ability, Gerard grapples with a profound lack of knowledge about his own past, citing a genetic anomaly in his blood during the pilot episode. Born on February 2, 1962 in Chicago, Illinois, Weiss's family background includes a father who worked in the steel industry and a mother who dedicated herself to homemaking. His sister, Jamie Sue Weiss, pursued a career as a makeup artist for television and films. Weiss attended Glenbrook North High School in Northbrook, Illinois, and later graduated from the University of Southern California. Weiss's journey into acting commenced in childhood, featuring appearances in local TV commercials in Chicago. At the age of 18, he had an extra role in the film Ordinary People in 1980. Post-college, he landed the role of Mike Horton on Days of Our Lives. His diverse career includes roles in the 1991 remake of Dark Shadows, the film Jeffrey, the animated series The Legend of Tarzan, and a recurring part in Crossing Jordan. Additionally, Wace lent his voice to The Nameless One, the protagonist of the computer game Planescape Torment. A significant chapter in Weiss's acting career unfolded in the NBC TV primetime drama The Pretender, where he starred as Gerard for four seasons. In February 2006, Weiss collaborated with former Pretender co-stars Andrea Parker and James Denton for a Cure Autism Now benefit. Further expanding his repertoire, Weiss joined the cast of Impressionism, a play by Michael Jacobs directed by Jack O'Brien, premiering at the Gerald Schoenfeld Theater on March 12, 2009. Weiss also graced the off-Broadway stage in A Perfect Future at the Cherry Lane Theater, directed by Wilson Milam. Andrea Parker as Miss Parker. Miss Parker stands as a dynamic and intricate character, stirring debates about her paternal lineage. While distinctly feminine, she exudes assertiveness and demands attention, portraying a commanding presence that garners respect. Although her professional journey remains shrouded in secrecy, there's a pervasive sense that she wields influence and plays a pivotal role, prompting her departure from her tower position to lead the pursuit of Gerard. Her earliest documented appearance on screen unfolded at the age of 19 in the film Rented Lips, where she portrayed a dancer, nurse. Engaging in Married with Children, she featured as a go-go dancer in two episodes, Prom Queen, The Sequel, 1989, and Prom Queen, Part 1, 1989. Following NBC's cancellation of The Pretender in 2000, she made a guest appearance on JAG before committing to reprise her iconic role as Miss Parker in The Pretender telemovies, airing on TNT in 2001. Returning to series television in 2002, Parker took the lead in the ABC comedy Less Than Perfect, embodying the character Lydia Weston until its cancellation in 2006. From 2011 to 2012, she assumed the recurring role of Jane Carlson in the ABC series Desperate Housewives. Subsequently, Parker starred in the NBC drama pilot Beautiful People and joined the cast of the ABC family series Pretty Little Liars. Beyond her acting endeavors, Parker actively supports various charities, including the National Hospice Palliative Care Organization, Glenn Siegel's My Good Friend Charity Organization, the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research, 
and Project Angel Food. In February 2006, Parker participated in a benefit alongside former Pretender co-stars Michael T. Weiss and James Denton, supporting Cure Autism Now, Patrick Boucho as Sydney. Sydney serves as the psychotherapist and guiding figure in Gerard's life right from the start. He takes responsibility for shaping Gerard into the person he becomes, instilling in him heroic qualities and innate wisdom. Sydney grapples with a sense of guilt, particularly when he discovers the misuse of Gerard's simulations, realizing he unintentionally played a role in Gerard's captivity. Patrick Bauchau, born on December 6, 1938, in Brussels, Belgium, is the son of Mary, a Russian-born school administrator and publisher, and Henry Bauchau, a multifaceted figure involved in school administration, law, publishing, writing, and psychoanalysis. Henry also served as an officer in the Belgian underground during World War II. Patrick Bauchau's upbringing spanned Belgium, Switzerland, and England. Bauchau commenced his career in the realm of French New Wave cinema, participating in two films directed by Eric Romer, La Carrière de Suzanne, 1963, and La Collectionneuse, 1967. His involvement extended to the new German cinema, featuring in Wim Wenders' Der Stand der Dinge, 1982. In 2007, Bauchau took on a leading dramatic role in The Gray Man, a biographical thriller depicting the crimes of the American sadomasochistic serial killer, rapist, and cannibal Albert Fish. Married to Mijanu Bardot, the sister of model and actress Brigitte Bardot, Bauchau currently resides in Los Angeles. John Grease as Brutes. Brutes is a computer technician employed at the center and joined the center team to assist Miss Parker and Sidney in pursuing the pretender, Jarrod. Grease was born in Glendale, California, the son of writer, director, and producer Tom Grease. His initial film role materialized at the age of 11, portraying the boy Horace in the Charlton Heston film Will Penny, crafted by his father. He has delivered notable performances in cult classics. In 2010, he concluded production on a true story, based on things that never actually happened, and some that did and featured in an episode of Nikita. Grease also assumed the role of Martin in the TV show Supernatural, featuring in the episodes Sam, Interrupted, 2010, Hello, Cruel World, 2011, and Citizen Fang, 2012. He portrayed Bob, a reformed drug addict operating a sanctuary for abused Mexican women in The Bridge. Grease took on the character of Strabinsky in the TV show Psych, notably in the episode One, Maybe Two, Ways Out, 2010. Ryan Merriman as Young Jarrod. Young Jarrod is a character on The Pretender, portraying the juvenile counterpart of the adult Jarrod and making appearances in flashbacks and on DSA. Merriman was born in Choctaw, Oklahoma, as the son of Earl and Nonna Lynn Merriman. His sister, named Monica, is part of his family. Commencing acting endeavors at an early age, he engaged in commercials, print work, vocal performances, and local theater, Stage Struck Studios, in Oklahoma. He has taken on roles in various television films, including Smart House, The Luck of the Irish, and depicting a young Meyer Lansky in Lansky. Merriman featured in the 1999 feature film The Deep End of the Ocean, portraying the lost son of Michelle Pfeiffer's character. Additionally, he starred as the primary character, a Jewish boy from the Bronx, in the 2000 film Just Looking. Dwight Little expressed interest in casting Merriman as Jin Kazama in his film Tekken, but Merriman declined the offer. He played the role of Jonathan in the Hallmark Channel original movie Elevator Girl, portraying a successful young lawyer who finds himself romantically involved with a free-spirited woman below his pay grade. In 2011, he took on the role of linebacker John Abatey in The Fifth Quarter, a film centered around the 2006 football season of Wake Forest University. Merriman was previously married to McCall Duncan from 2004 to 2011. On January 1, 2012, 
he became engaged to Kristen McMullen, and they tied the knot in September 2014. Their daughter was born in July 2018. Richard Marcus as Mr. Rains. Dr. William Rains helmed various initiatives at the center, overseeing projects like Red Files, which played a pivotal role in shaping individuals such as Gerard, Angelo, Kyle, Mr. Lyle, Miss Parker, and three others, and Gemini, responsible for the creation of Gerard's clone. Recognizable by the distinctive squeak of the wheels on his omnipresent oxygen tank, Reigns stood out as one of the most formidable figures within the center. Richard Marcus's inaugural role came in the television series The White Shadow, where he made guest appearances in two episodes. Throughout the 1980s, he maintained a consistent presence in the industry and secured a recurring role as Ralph the Birdman in the acclaimed NBC drama Saint Elsewhere, earning him an Emmy nomination. He revisited this role in two television movies in 2001. Post The Pretender, Marcus has sustained his acting career, making regular appearances and guest starring in two episodes of 24 in 2005. Alex Wexo as Young Sidney. Young Sidney is a character in The Pretender, representing the earlier version of the present-day Sidney and making appearances in flashbacks and on DSA. His primary focus of research used to be Gerard. At the age of five, he and his family relocated to London, England, where he spent his formative years. Upon completing high school at 17, he moved to Edinburgh, Scotland, where he lived for the subsequent two years. Wexo's introduction to director Rob Reiner led to a role in the major motion picture A Few Good Men. Transitioning to television, he secured guest-starring roles in popular series like NYPD Blue and VIP. Progressing from one series to another, he notably portrayed Connor on the former hit show, The Invisible Man. Since then, Wexo has made guest appearances on various successful TV shows, including The Mentalist, CSI, The Unit, Entourage, and Dexter. He also played a supporting role in Universal Pictures' Straight Outta Compton. Having trained with renowned figures like Stella Adler, Ellen Burstyn, and Kim Stanley, Wexo honed his craft at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. Additionally, he engaged in writing, producing, directing, and starring in his series of short films titled The Wexo One Acts, the first installment of a film series he is producing and directing. Wexo is a former United States Marine. James Denton as Mr. Lyle, Robert Bobby Bowman, commonly known as Mr. Lyle, emerges as a significant antagonist in the Pretender TV series, portrayed by American actor Jamie Denton. Mr. Lyle makes his debut in the opening episode of the second season, Back from the Dead Again. Born on January 20, 1963, in Nashville, Tennessee, Denton spent his formative years in nearby Goodlettsville, being the second of three siblings. His father, J.T. Denton, 1930-1993, served in the military and worked as a dentist. Raised in the Southern Baptist tradition, Denton later became a minister of music at Westmoreland United Methodist Church in Westmoreland, Tennessee. During his time in Chicago, Denton's initial role was as Stanley in A Streetcar Named Desire, and his final role was as the character Beber in the French farce, La Pin La Pin. Between these roles, Denton was part of the Griffin Theater and Straw Dog Theater Ensemble as a company member. In high school, Denton dated country music singer Dina Carter. He was married to Jenna Lynn Ward from 1997 to 2000. On December 16, 2002, Denton tied the knot with Aaron O'Brien, a personal trainer at Lifetime Fitness. The couple welcomed a son in 2003 and a daughter in 2005. After the conclusion of Desperate Housewives, the family relocated to Chanhassen, Minnesota, from Glendale, California. Denton actively supports the Angel Foundation, a Minnesota-based nonprofit organization dedicated to assisting adults with cancer and their families. Sam Ayers as Sam the Sweeper. Sam also known as Sam the Cleaner, 
serves as a supporting character in The Pretender. Sam, employed as a cleaner at the center, is primarily associated with Miss Parker. Despite being a sweeper, details about his background remain scarce, and very little information has been disclosed about his character traits, except for his unwavering loyalty to Miss Parker, faithfully carrying out her every comment, hailing from Youngstown, Oyo, and growing up in Merrimack, New Hampshire, Samuel Bealish II, Ayers being his mother's maiden name, achieved the distinction of becoming Merrimack High School's first varsity quarterback. He continued his education, marking the first in his family to do so, at Memphis State University, where he joined the Lambda Chi Alpha fraternity. In 1995, Ayers made a permanent move to Los Angeles. His breakthrough came in 1996 when he landed the role of Sam the Cleaner on the NBC series The Pretender, making appearances in roughly half of the episodes throughout the show's four-year tenure on NBC. Ayers entered marital bliss with actress Robin Trapp in 1998, and the following year they welcomed their daughter Alexis Ann into the family. Currently, Ayers remains actively engaged in work in Los Angeles, balancing his professional commitments with quality time spent with Robin and Alexis. Harve Presnell as Mr. Parker. Mr. Parker was the spouse of Catherine Parker. With him, she gave birth to two children, Miss Parker and Mr. Lyle. Additionally, they adopted a daughter named Hope, a young girl who was seriously ill when she captured Catherine's attention. They brought her to the center in an attempt to cure her, but unfortunately, her condition proved untreatable. Presnell came into the world in 1933 in Modesto, California. He marked his debut on the professional stage by performing in an opera at the tender age of 16. Engaging in studies at the University of Southern California, he successfully earned a bachelor's degree in vocal performance. In Eugene Ormandy's 1960 recording of Carmina Burana, released by Columbia Sony on LP and CD, Presnell showcased his baritone vocals. His earliest recordings featured him as a soloist with the Roger Wagner Chorale in the 1950s, where he sang in various compositions, including Oh Holy Night in the LP Joy to the World, and songs like Bury Me Not on the Lone Prairie and Streets of Laredo in the LP's Folk Songs of the New World and Folk Songs of the Frontier. Presnell passed away on June 30, 2009, at the age of 75, succumbing to pancreatic cancer at St. John's Health Center in Santa Monica, California. Paul Dillon as Angelo. Angelo, whose real name is Timmy, is a youngster who was brought into the center at a very early age. He formed friendships with Miss Parker and Gerard and spent his childhood within the center's confines. This was a result of one of Dr. Rain's initial attempts to create a pretender using Angelo. Paul Dillon, an actor hailing from Joliet, initiated his show business career in Chicago. His foray into the world of cinema commenced in 1994 with the movie Blink 1993, where he portrayed the character of Neil Booker. In more recent times, he made a guest appearance as Ezekiel in the new ABC drama Night Stalker 2005. Currently, he takes on the role of Gary in the play Rantoul and Die. Additionally, he serves as the founder and artistic director of the Bang Bang Spontaneous Theater Group, Willie Galt as Willie the Sweeper. Willie serves as a sweeper at the center, portrayed by Willie Galt. He has dedicated numerous years to this role, exhibiting unwavering loyalty to Mr. Reigns. Willie is characterized by his compulsiveness and efficiency, appearing devoid of humor and capable of killing without displaying any emotion. Galt, originally from Griffin, Georgia, was raised in a family where both parents worked in a textile mill. Born Willie May, he carried the same name as his mother. Reflecting on his school days, Galt remembered being considered a teacher's pet by his classmates. During his time at Griffin High School, he actively participated in football and track, contributing two receptions for 19 yards in Griffin's 7-7 tie against Valdosta in the AAAAAA State Championship game during his junior year. 
In the early 1990s, Galt retired and embarked on an acting career in Hollywood. Notably, he took on the role of Willie the Sweeper in the NBC series The Pretender. Galt made a guest appearance on the sitcom Still Standing, portraying himself as the father of Tina's friend. His involvement extended to a few episodes of Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide, playing himself alongside sportscaster Van Earl Wright. More recently, he featured in the series finale and appeared in an episode of MTV's Parental Control. Additionally, in Season 4, Episode 8 of Friday Night Lights, the Dylan Lyons radio color man was named Willie Gall as a tribute, Pamela Gidley as Brigitte. Brigitte, the operative initially contracted to eliminate Mr. Parker, later earns his forgiveness and becomes his spouse. Although their relationship seems conventional on the surface, it is marked by tragedy as Brigitte loses her life shortly after giving birth to a child presumed to be fathered by Mr. Parker. Gidley, a native of Methuen, Massachusetts, grew up in Salem, New Hampshire, as the sole daughter among four siblings. She had two older brothers, Glenn and Daniel, and one younger brother, Brian. Achieving recognition as the winner of the Wilhelmina Modeling Agency's Most Beautiful Girl in the World contest on March 12, 1985, in Sydney, Australia, marked a significant milestone in her modeling career. While flourishing in modeling, Gidley pursued acting studies at the New York Academy of Dramatic Art under the guidance of actress and teacher Stella Adler, founder of the Stella Adler Studio of Acting. Eventually, she relocated to Los Angeles to pursue an acting career. Gidley took on the role of Audrey Weston in the short-lived mystery series Strange Luck, which endured for a single season. Her television credits included appearances in Crime Story, Tour of Duty, and the serial drama Skin, which faced cancellation after just eight episodes. Additionally, she made a guest appearance in an episode of The Closer, Gidley passed away at her residence in Seabrook, New Hampshire, on April 16, 2018, at the age of 52. As of April 30, 2018, the cause of her death had not been disclosed. Don't forget to hit that like button and share your thoughts in the comments below. Also, subscribe to our channel for more exciting updates on your favorite TV show casts. Before we wrap up, Make sure to check out our other Then and Now videos to see how your beloved actors have transformed over the years. As we bid farewell, remember to stay tuned for future updates. And until next time, stay curious and keep pretending. Goodbye, everyone.